Hi guys, my name is Ono Hayuai and I'm a Canva Certified Creative from Nigeria. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can create your own logos in Canva using elements and text you can easily find. This tutorial is going to be interesting, so let's jump into Canva and get started. I will click on a new design and select the logo doc type. Then go to text and select the heading text. I will type in the brand name here. Then I will convert it to uppercase. I'm going to type out the letters entirely. This will help me to better apply kernel to the design. I will change the font here to brown sugar. Then I will increase it and adjust the kernels to make it look accurate. Now I will select one of the letters to make the logo unique. I will open a new page and paste the letter R. I'm going to adjust it properly and download as PNG with transparent background. After downloading it, I will upload it back into Canva. Now I'm going to rotate it to 180 degrees. I'm going to delete these other arrow letters because I certainly do not need them. Now I will just duplicate this one I have just uploaded. Now it's time to adjust the kerning. I will add another text. This time around, I'm going to type in interiors. I will change the font to Montserrat, transform to uppercase, add line space into it and place it here. I will adjust it even more. Now, this is the primary logo. For the secondary logo, I will duplicate all of this, drag it down, drop this text here and bring the double R just down a little bit. I will just work on this to find a better way to place it. Now that's all about the secondary logo. Let's create a sub map. I'm just going to duplicate the R increase it and crop it like this then i will duplicate it and flip it horizontally i'm also going to adjust it just to make it look more like a mark text and place it here Change the text to verse interior and duplicate it for the bottom part of this. Now I'm going to go to element and I'll select the circle. I'm going to change the color to a light shade of gray. Position it to the back and adjust it properly. For this text, I will add curve effect to it and change the values. I will repeat the same thing for the bottom text. This time around the values, I'm going to change it to a negative value. I will adjust it properly and make sure it's in the middle. I'll add some lines to improve the feel. Then I will add this dynamic element. I will adjust it and I'll place it here. And here is what our logo looks like. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And now you've learned how you can create your own custom logos in Canva using basic shapes and text. Don't forget, seven days without Canva makes one week. And until then, I dab.